Good morning, friends. I'm so happy to see you and so happy to be in this meeting, in this virtual meeting today. Tomorrow, you know what day is it? Tomorrow. Tomorrow is a Father's Day. Father's Day, and I urge every and each of you to talk to your father if you can and say some good words of love and express your feelings. I was recollecting on my memories with my father and I recalled how in early childhood, in early school years, I was absolutely mesmerized by the books that my father is collecting till this day. He is keen on art, so there were some books with famous paintings that you can look at and see the details. And also, he's keen on collecting the books with these wise phrases, with the aphorisms. And I was absolutely blown away by some of them at that young age. For instance, the phrase well known for everyone, carpe diem, seize the day. Or the other one, one who makes no mistakes, makes nothing at all. Just think about it for a second. Beautiful, right? Beautiful and deep. And my favorite, Amat Victoria Kuran. Why do I like this phrase the most? And why do I consider it a motto of my life? Let's figure out during the next minutes of my speech how to translate it. It's Latin phrase that is literally translated as a mat to love, Victoria, the victory, and Quran can have slightly different meanings. So I, I like three of them, the patience or care or preparation. And we'll cover each of these aspects in the examples to follow. A mat, Victoria, Quran. The victory loves patience. Dear friends, please raise your hands, those who studied in university or is studying right now. All right, that's a bunch of people. Thank you. Thank you so much. And have you ever had thoughts in your head like, oh my gosh, this is, this is too much. I, I can't handle it. This is too difficult. I have so many exams, so many things to learn. It's, it's too difficult. Sounds familiar. At some point of the time during studying, you get these thoughts. And it seems that it's a too big, heavy stone on your shoulders that you cannot bear. But Amat Victoria Kuram, victory loves patience. You take things one step at a time, one exam at a time. You keep calm and carry on, like British say. Right, Gary? <laughs> and Bam, you have your bachelor's degree or your master's degree. Amat Victoria Kuram. This is the motto that helps me and helped me during my studying years. Victory loves here. The next example that I will bring up is from the field that is more than familiar to some of the people in this audience. I'm talking about sport and physical activity. I love running and I adore ballet, but I'm not a professional dancer nor sportsman. Still, even with a hobby, I managed to use some excuses to say, oh, I was not built to run, I have short legs, so that's why I run slowly. Or maybe, yeah, I'm not the ballerina, kind of girl. But these are all excuses. Please raise your hands who had such excuses for physical activity sometimes, yeah? <laughs> sometimes, right? But if it's your hobby, you don't have to put any excuses because it's not your professional. And you, you don't have to be the best. So Amat Victoria Kuram, victory loves care. In a sense that you put care in fulfilling your goal, and also with the care to yourself. So you don't run a marathon from the first day. First run, you go outside and run 500 meters. The next day, you have a terrible sore in your muscles, 
and you think that was your last run, but no, you would care and you continue slowly growing and slowly training your body. You go with your first kilometer, second, and then bam, you have your 5K run. Yay! Maybe next with 10 kilometers, and maybe even you'll do a marathon in some time. Your own victory loves here. In a similar way with dancing, dancing also takes some care to your body and to your brain. You have to put time into figuring out how it works. For example, a pirouette, a quite, I don't know, complex or not movement, but you have to understand what is the order of the movements. And I was not born knowing how to do this movement. I practiced it. I just do it, did it from one, from time to time, over and over again, and then you figure it out. So victory loves here. And the next example will be, I'm sure, familiar for most of you, for sure. Because I'm going to talk about Toastmasters speech contest. Yeah, right. This motto can be helpful also in this competition, competitive sport of giving speeches. <laughs> In this case, victory loves preparation. Because to win a speech contest, you don't have to be a naturally born charismatic person, but rather you have to put a lot of time into preparation. So how do you prepare? First of all, you practice a lot. You go for Toastmasters, you go to Toastmasters meeting, you give a lot of speeches, you incorporate your feed, the feedback you get, that's very important, not to repeat the same mistake from time to time, over and over again. Then, you can look up to some people who win the speech contest and see what makes them different, what makes their speeches different from other people. And the third, of course, you have to prepare and practice, 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 prepare your own speech for the speech contest. Remember, speech contests take 99% of preparation and 1% of the talent. Amat Victoria Kuran. These are the three words that help you following your dreams and what is important, also fulfilling them. I hope you got inspired by the phrase and will recall it from time to time. Thank you so much for being such an active audience and don't forget to congratulate your father tomorrow. Thank you so much. <laughs>